I can't believe it's already Friday at the 41st edition of Le Giornate del Cinema Mood, a Pordenone Silent Film Festival. And today is a day that I've been really excited by for a long time, and I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but uh, in the late morning, Within the Law, one of Norma Talmadge's uh, great late 20s films, or mid 20s films rather, uh, a really terrific melodrama with Neil Brand at the piano. Uh, then uh, right after, just uh, around the corner, one of the uh, few films that Francis Marion, the great American screenwriter, uh, not only wrote but also directed and we've been seeing a number of, of Frances Marion's films. She wrote for Norma Talmadge, including so many others. Last year, we, we folk, had a big focus on American women screenwriters, and of course, Frances Marion was one of the key people. But uh, to have a chance to see this reconstruction of a film, uh, thanks to a collaboration between I Film Museum in Amsterdam and the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., it's really a, a, a great opportunity to be able to uh, judge, again, uh, Marion's work as director, not just as, as screenwriter. I don't mean to say just as screenwriter. Um, in the afternoon, Manolescu, uh, a recent restoration made by the uh, Friedrich Murnau Stiftung. It's a film that stars Brigitte Helm, the wonderful Brigitte Helm, Dita Parlo, and Ivan Mozjukin in his last silent role, and uh, with a score by uh, John Sweeney. So another unmissable, um, unmissable screening. But then in the evening, we have three weeks. The Alan Crossland film based on the novel by Eleanor Glynn, starring Aileen Pringle and Conrad Nagel. This has been a very long process. This is probably the most talked about and least viewed film of the period because Three Weeks was such a scandal both as a novel, the, the film itself created a, a great amount of controversy and um, it's basically been unviewable. The only print uh, that existed only had flash titles uh, and thanks to the Cineteca of Friuli we've been able to reconstruct uh, this film, we've stretched the titles, we've gone back to the continuity script, and we're finally having a chance to see one of the key examples of not just Ruritania, but uh, of romantic cinema. We're talking about kind of Barbara Cartland-like uh, things with amazing, amazing set designs by Cedric Gibbons that um, will really blow you away. Uh, there were the, the set designs themselves uh, were so important at the time that there were exhibitions in Los Angeles for them. So um, I really can't wait. Stephen Horn and Frank Bokius will be accompanying it and it's going to be a terrific evening.